Thank you. Good evening. I'm Heather Sparks and uh, the, oh, go ahead. Walter Yu. We're with Wevo. Wevo is a civic engagement platform designed to reduce risk and waste in the city planning process. So, um, pretty much any major building or road out there needs environmental review. Um, and environmental review usually also requires public comment. Um, this is public comment to city agencies, development agencies, and um, there are about 18,000 documents uh, created in the state of California related to um, these projects. And there are about 480 cities in California that need to comply with these public comment periods. We simplify and um, add value to the public comment process by allowing planners to receive public comments through a user app and also analyze and predict on data that their public comment commenters produce and they are able to combine with other types of geospatial and um, economic data. Our solution is a cloud-based voting platform and what stands us apart is what you see in front of you, which is analytics. And it's a blend of analytics and machine learning. We also focus strictly on environmental projects to begin with. So again, we're different from our competitors, which you, you will see. Okay. <laughs> uh, more on machine learning, we're going to analyze the comments and votes. And on the right-hand side is a mobile app. These are all functioning prototypes and uh, it's available on GitHub and uh, we can share it with you later. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Awesome, so who are our customers? Our customers are agencies, they are city planning departments, um, they are individual planners who want to streamline their public comment process and learn from it. So those are two of the big values that we provide. We reduce risk by um, helping people assess projects. We make it easier to innovate in the eco-friendly uh, space by again, getting public feedback on potential projects and anticipating hiccups. Um, we plan on charging a subscription for these services along with an additional fee for certain types of documents and additional uh, predictive uh, services and data. Um, we wanna reach these customers by starting a pilot program, reaching a couple of cities and then um, doing a B2B model or B2G. So, what is our go-to-market plan? Um, we want to start in Sacramento County, um, identify a couple of agencies or city government who wants to be a pilot user, get some validation from them. We've talked to some planners already, but we want to make sure that our product works for them and engages the public properly. Um, once we've done that, we'll supplement with seed funding and grants. Um, and once we've done that, we'll roll out the entire product um, that will include the predictive analysis um, that is gathered through these pilot projects. And of course, we're going to continue to develop over time. So who are our competitors? Uh, there's a couple of organizations out there, including City Insights. You can see that a lot of them have some mobile options and analytics. We're the only ones who offer prediction and our cost is a lot lower at $250 um, a month as opposed to um, up to 500 or 1,000 a month, which is a lot. <laughs> We've got a great team supporting us. They're lovely people. They're balanced in their skills. We'll talk with them in a little bit. Um, and they've helped us put together some numbers. We estimate that there's um, about a million dollars in annual revenue based on um, a 3% fee on these 18,000 documents that we referred to earlier. Um, our projected growth is 85%. Currently, we want to develop a pilot, um, seek about $50,000 to run that pilot, and then um, seek out some customers who want to participate in that pilot. So if you are any of those people or you want to connect us with any of those people, we'd love to talk to you. Or if you're just curious, um, shoot us your questions. Thank you. And now here comes the awesome team. They're all lovely people. Can you help me understand uh, briefly what the workflow for a planner looks like now without this and what it will look like 
after they're using your application? Yeah, absolutely. We talked with um, an environmental planner who's here at the meeting, um, along with some other people in the field, and they currently receive public comment through um, in-person meetings, paper, and emails. Uh, if you want to submit a comment on an EIR, you can like submit a written comment. So we want to be a, a place to capture and organize and generate data on those different types of comments and hopefully eliminate a lot of the paper. <laughs> Yeah, so I've done uh, there you go. Uh, I've done similar projects, not similar, uh, projects with getting resident feedback in the city of San Francisco before. Uh, one of the big issues we ran up against was getting people who are non-tech, which is a pretty big portion. It's unbelievably bigger than you think it is. We just don't have access to a mobile phone or don't want to download an app or don't want to get onto a web connection. So there had to be some manual collection process. Uh, so what, what are your thoughts on that? And just as a high level, I like the idea a lot. This is a rich area for innovation. So uh, kudos on that. That's an excellent question. So, um, you know, in discussion with our facilitator here, he had an excellent solution to uh, partner up with the USPS. They have a targeted direct mail program, which we didn't mention because we're trying to cram it all together in five minutes, but we're going to parallel it to cover everybody that is non-tech. So that's a very good point and something we consider. So um, the way that you outline your competitors and what your differentiation is uh, implies that prediction is a key feature that you guys are providing uh, that's going to make all the difference, largely. Um, why is it, one, that key f prediction is a key feature, and two, uh, why is it that no, none of the competitors are doing it if it's so important? Hi, that's a good question. Um, so prediction, um, we're, none, of the, none of our competitors are currently offering it. We're not aware if they're in development. Um, but uh, you, your question was, it, why is it a critical feature? Um, On-time delivery of projects can, can result in like contract bonuses or, or additional uh, law, more revenue, less loss of money. So that's what we're targeting is efficiency. And, and why would you hypothesize that they are, your, the competitors are not doing it if it's a crit critical feature? Um, that's a good question. We're not, we're not aware of it. Uh, I think it's a combination. So a lot of the competitors probably believe this is more of a traditional web app, and that's what seems to be out there in combination with mobile. Um, we want to bring it together to the next level, and I think it's a combination of the environmental, the prediction, and the platform, the insights, all at a very low price point, uh, which we, we can sustain, again, because we're a startup and we're nimble. And again, it's our approach, and you know, it, it, it is, you know, we, as we saw, there are other competitors, and, you know, and again, we just feel like we have that right combination, um, very focused, very tight knit, very nimble, that can then move in front of these other competitors, which may be, you know, it's very status quo, right? If it works and you got clients, but we want to be the new entrant to introduce this. Um, it is something that's important, but I think the rest of all the other industries, we see machine learning becoming more mainstream and we want to have, capture that. A revenue model that included, I think, a two hundred fifty dollar a month subscription. Uh, my question is around the assumptions that went into the one million dollars. I think it was for eighteen thousand documents. Is that at, for Sacramento specifically? Uh, could you give us a sense of your market size? Thank you. Yeah, we are using two different um, revenue streams. So the two fifty a month is for the project managers and anyone within the city. And then the fee is attached to the currently existing about $3,000 um, for the high and about $1,000 for the low to get these review documents completed. So we use a $2,000 estimate of that range. And then we compounded that by the um, Yes, the 18,000 docs and then by the 3%. That's for the entire state. Us, yes, so that will be our 2020 timeline. What is your biggest uncertainty that you see? And like the short term, your biggest questions you have before moving forward with this? I feel like Raj actually can. No? Okay. Um, so we certainly have had some feedback of. Um, how do we make this app really appealing to um, city citizens? So getting public outreach, making sure that we can um, partner with cities for that. 